Thornhill and welcome to Storytime with Miss Huang. I hope you've been having a lovely day so far. The book I'm going to be sharing with you is called Mabel's Magical Garden and it's written by Paula Metcalf who also illustrates all of these beautiful images as well. It was published in 2005 so I wonder if you can work out how old this book is. It's one of my favourite books and it's a story about friendship, sharing and the magic of nature so I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. At the end, if you keep watching, there will be some questions for you to answer and also some special activities that I will link down below for you. So I hope you're comfortable because we'll begin. Mabel's garden was full of flowers. They gleamed in the sunshine. Every day, Nigel and George came to admire them. I wish we had such beautiful flowers in our garden, said George nice thing to say. They look like pretty jewels, said Nigel. Oh, and they smell like perfume, said George. Sometimes Mabel's friends stayed all day. They had such fun. They didn't want to go home. But they're dancing. But one morning, George and Nigel didn't come. Mabel waited. Hmm. And then she went to look for them. She found them busy watering their own garden. Look, called George. Look at our lovely flowers. Mabel frowned. They're not your flowers, she said. They're mine. You must have sown them in the night. We didn't steal them, said Nigel. They just appeared, said George. But Mabel didn't believe them. <gasps> Do you think they stole Mabel's flowers? It's not very nice if they did, is it? That night, Mabel didn't get a wink of sleep. She was too worried about somebody stealing her flowers. So, the next day, she built a high wall all the way around her garden. <gasps> Look how high it is. She has to climb up on a ladder to see over the top. It was too high for Nigel to jump over and too high for George to reach over, even on tiptoes. But it was also too high for something else to get in. Something very important for flowers. What do you think that could be? What is very important for flowers? The sun. So all living things need the sun, even you survive. Without sunshine, the flowers didn't look like pretty jewels and they didn't smell like perfume. Mabel watered them. She sang to them. She even danced for them. But nothing worked. Please get better, she whispered. Inside the wall, Mabel and her flowers grew sadder and sadder. Oh no. Outside the wall, something wonderful had happened. Nigel and George wanted to share the wonderful thing with Mabel, but the wall was too high for them. So how are they going to get her to see? But it was not too high for the little bird. He flew up and perched on the top. Mabel, he called, come and see. She put the ladder she put a ladder against the wall and began to climb. When she got to the top, Mabel couldn't believe what she saw. What do you think she will see? <gasps> Thousands of flowers everywhere. They're so beautiful, gasped Mabel. But, but where did they come from? Nobody knew. Look how lovely they are. How did the flowers there. How did all of those flowers get there? Hmm. Just then, there was a huge gust of wind. Look everyone, called Nigel. Look at the seeds flying. Mabel started to laugh. Oh, so that's how the flowers have been spreading. Yes, said George. And if we take the wall down, they'll spread into your garden too. You're going to take the wall down. Brick by brick, they took down the wall. 
When the hard work was done, everybody sat down for a rest in the sun. Aren't we lucky to have such lovely flowers, sighed Nigel. Yes, and to have each other to share them with, said Mabel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I thought you'd stolen my flowers. Then, to show just how sorry she was, Mabel made the most delicious picnic Nigel and George had ever tasted. And as the sun went down, everyone admired the beautiful flowers together. Aww. So I hope you enjoyed that booklet just as much as I do. Um, in terms of a couple of questions I want to ask you. So Mabel thought that her friends had stolen her flowers. Did she have any proof? Did she ask them if they had stolen them? But had they? Hmm. And then how did they react? How did they respond to when she accused them of stealing her flowers? What did they do? Did they get angry with her? Hmm. Were they sad? What did they try to do for Mabel? And when Mabel realised that she actually had wrongly accused them, she, that they didn't actually steal their flowers, what did she do to make up for it? Hmm. So it's a couple of things we need to think about. So have you ever wrongly accused someone? Have you wrongly told someone off for doing something that actually they didn't do? And if that was the case, how did they react? Were they sad? Were they angry? And then afterwards what did you do about it how did you make them feel better how did you make them feel less hurt how did you say that you were sorry so there's a couple of questions for you to think about um, in terms of activities i'm going to put a link down below as i mentioned but in terms of something that you could do quite quickly you can make sure that the um, gardens around you are looked after the flowers are watered you could plant your own seeds um, you could find out actually how the seeds um, were dispersed. So in this particular um, book, the seeds were dispersed by wind. Are there any other ways that seeds can be dispersed, can be spread around so that they can then grow? How can we help seeds grow well around us? So a couple of things for you to do. Enjoy and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.